In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I'd like to welcome all of you joining us for the celebration of the Mass on this Assumption of our Blessed Virgin Mary. You are joining us here in Christ the King Chapel. My name is Father Nate Kuhn, and I am the Director of Vocations for the Diocese, and I am joined with some of our seminarians who are studying to be priests. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us take a moment to call to mind our sins and to ask God for his mercy and forgiveness. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul, into heavenly glory, grant, we pray, that always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be sharers of her glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant could be seen in the temple. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the, with the sun, with the moon beneath her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child and, wa and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its head were ten diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God and his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert, where she had a place prepared by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his anointed one. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. The queen takes her place at your right hand, in gold of her fear. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. Hear, O daughter, and see, turn your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. So shall the king desire your beauty, for he is your Lord. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. 
They are born in with gladness and joy. They enter the palace of the king. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ the first fruits, then at his coming those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death, for he subjected everything under his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Mary is taken up to heaven, a chorus of angels exalts. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste, to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah, and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her for about three months, and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It can seem rather strange that we celebrate the Assumption of Mary as Christians because Christianity, after all, is about Christ. It's about Christ bringing us home. But then again, home is a new home. The Christian home is a new home has a new father. We have our true brother, our savior, Jesus Christ. A new familial spirit, the Holy Spirit, who unites us. But then comes mom. Where is mom? Where is the mother? Christianity is about my second childhood. I'm learning how to become a child again. To become a child again. And new children have to have a new mother. New children have to have a new mother. 
But what kind of mother is she? She's clothed with a sun, there's the moon beneath her feet, and she battles dragons. That's what kind of mother she is. And that's why it's so important that she's brought into heaven by Christ, so that we have this mother who intercedes for us, who protects us, who fights on our behalf. A powerful mother. We are new children. And new children always need a new mother. A new mother who fights for her children. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the righteous pilot. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, God our Father wants all to be saved and calls us to the knowledge of the truth. Let us pray to him with all our hearts. For the holy church of God, that the Lord guided and protected, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the peoples of the world, that the Lord unite them in peace and harmony, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our brothers and sisters in need, especially those who are yet unborn, that the Lord assist them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves and for our diocesan community, that we offer an acceptable sacrifice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, our ref refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church, and grant us today what we ask of you in faith, through Christ our Lord. Divine, all love's excelling joy of heaven to earth come down. Fix in us your humble dwelling, all your faithful mercies crown. Jesus, source of all compassion, love unbounded, of all pure, visit us with your salvation, let your love in us endure. Come, Almighty, to your life receive. Suddenly he return and never, never more your temples leave. Lord, we would be always blessing, serve you as your whole 
hosts above. Pray and praise you without ceasing. Glory in your precious love. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord, the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice which your hands for the praise and glory is his name for our good and good of all the church. May this oblation, our tribute of homage, rise up to you, O Lord, and through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, may our hearts, aflame with the fire of love, constantly long for you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your churches coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly, you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb, since from her own body she marvel marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabao. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, 
we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession, in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and William our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. On you stay, we told these peccatamonti, we said it in your holies. On you stay, we told these peccatamonti, we said it in your holies. On you stay. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word. So King of kings yet born of Mary. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having received the, sa the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant, O Lord, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, say Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the root of souls. Hail, Holy Queen, enthroned above, O Maria. Hail, Queen of mercy and of love, O Maria. Triumph, all ye cherubim, sing with us, ye seraphim, have not Hello everybody, Bishop Callahan here. Each and every week we have the opportunity to share the message of Jesus Christ with you, especially for those of you who are homebound and may be sick at this particular time. We share the blessings of Jesus through the Eucharist, and we thank you for your support of this ministry. May God continue to reward you and bring you blessings, health, and happiness for this new year and for all the days of your life.